hello my friends we are back and in this one we will be creating a blockchain arbitrage bot all right it has been a little while but you know how it is guys um we want to we want to just go through and make a little mini series here about creating our own uh, crypto arbitrage but as you guys can see here i already have a little bit of code written um that i stole and appropriate from multiple places right and then i kind of put them all together and wrote some of my own code and you know you know we have our real frankenstein monster here and that's kind of like what we have but don't worry guys we i will be taking you guys through every um step of it right now this but kind of just treats right um we're, we have a lot of things we'll be going doing in this mini series you get you guys will get to see all of it um from start to finish mistakes whatever um a quick reminder guys if you do want something like this or any other web project done trading bots clones whatever email down below reach out to me me and my team will get it done for you and with that let's kind of just get into it so let's start by kind of looking at the code that we have here and like what it does right um shout out julian from the block shout out other random multiple github people sources name that i kind of like borrowed code here from um yeah but kind of this 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 code is very like like i said guys i, I wasn't capping it. it looks a lot but it's really not right now we kind of just have the bs um bot right um and we have the contract let me put it in here we actually put it on um polygon um i know cancerous right don't cancel me all right but this code is actually um somebody wanted me to do it but they didn't want to pay for it so i was just like what the hell um let's give it to the channel um you know and so um yeah, as you can see here, I was kind of messing with it already. Um, don't be intimidated by like the code that you see here or these transactions. This this bot is very far from finish. It will almost be like you guys are starting from the very beginning with me. If um, chances are by the if by the time we've gone through this mini series, I re would have rewritten all of this. Um, it's just this was just boilerplate code to to, to get it to trade. Um, getting into trade was the real um, struggle getting to trade and then understanding the structure of like um, how it's supposed to trade so as we said guys this 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 code here is kind of working on flash loans so if you don't know what flash loans are basically flash loans make it so that without needing to have money for yourself you can go in and see an opportunity um, between two um, exchanges right or um, peers right and you without having any needed money in your account you can go and trade on the arbitrage right so if you see some some opportunity there in your but in um um in your bot or something like that right and it's you can you can flash low and just random example a hundred thousand dollars five hundred however much is in whatever platform you're flash loaning on typically these are exchanges like pancakes up um whatever exchange whatever exchange home whatever liquidity it has you can flash loan it capture the arb take the profit all right and that's kind of like the whole idea so the real benefit of that there is that um you can capture a bigger opportunity if you do find an opportunity all right and as we will be talking about here we'll be covering the code we'll be covering the technicals this is kind of what this part of the mini series will be kind of going on just kind of catching up you guys with where i am the next one um, and i won't lie to you guys i'm not sure when the next outcome because i am actually quite busy but i'll try and put it out as soon as i can i'm also trying to make these videos not too long all right um yeah the next one will kind of take um cover cover us in our next steps which is like all right um what the fuck are we doing next all right so let's just kind of like look look at it here um what we have all right so to kind of walk you guys through what's going on here pay no attention actually let me just for the sake of simplifying you guys um basically what we let's in our bot here we kind of just we start here um set up basically we just get um or site or signers right we'll talk about that later we just get our contract owner right and then we print our address um uh, that's covered here in config in env right i won't show that right now because i'm using that um but in the next one we'll show it um once i'm sure about what i what i do with it um we get our we get our contract we initiate our contract um interface we attach it to the address all right and then um some other stuff remember i said this was boilerplate i just took it and then like um and ran with it to get the trade all right now but anyways eventually no matter what eventually we'll come here and um 
basically what this code here does it just says okay based on our config which i will show you guys here you can see i have different configs set up um, for different uh, networks uh, we have some exchanges we have quick swap sushi swap polyca polydex and to be honest defi jet swap i just kind of looked up you know all the popular exchanges and kind of um selected them um we will probably be refining that a lot right um and some tokens here which you can see all right so right now this has eight exchanges 12 tokens if i remember correctly all right so it goes basically selects a random uh, exchange um once it finds one i again you can see i just put an arbitrary number here i think this is one or ten we're gonna lower this right now so you guys can maybe see a trade because i've noticed that like the lower you put it the, the easier it is to get it to, to find an arb even if you pay the hell in gas right um write some stuff to console using or address one and two um token one and two all right basically it calls our contract flash swap which we'll look at right now um trying to go through this quick and basically um what this what this does here it just um uh, i'm trying to uh, uh, more down, more down, more down. all right um basically the design of this is all right look at look at look at these exchanges look at these tokens tell me if there's an arbitrage there um here i actually kind of assume and for reason i'll make later because you have to be quick um, when you're looking for these things if you want to capture them we kind of assume that it's already there and kind of just like go ahead and let it like error us if we if we make a mistake i'll cover this all more in details once we start that or actual code because we probably be deleting all this i just want to give you guys kind of like the basics rundown of where we're starting um where i'm starting right um check and see if there check and see if there is an arb if there is all right try to try the flash loan at our meaning um borrow the money from exchange one run it on exchange two send us the profit all right and as you can see here actually i do have some instances um of this actually uh, gotta switch back gotta switch back um poly i know pancakes up i know come on bro. um we do have some instances here of it actually sending us profit here you can see what is this point deca 17 cents usdt some crv some bnb some ev i was actually surprised some fish i don't know where the fuck i found that token um but you know um i was actually su surprised some of these that it found but you know, maybe we'll find us now in, in, a, in a few time actually i should just run it here um i don't want this video to go on too long but basically um and don't worry guys i will be dropping you this link in the github prob probably in the next mini series and i'm sure where i, where I want to take it um as well um go here here i'm only i'm only running this command now to, so maybe we can have a trade going um by the time this video is done um, I'm doing NPX hard that run. I choose my network. I tell it my script to trade, which is my trade.js. You can see it says, okay, owner, like we saw. And you can see here, it's giving me a lot of errors. These are errors that we're also gonna like address. But right now, just take it for granted that like these are by design, right? Like I'm telling it to go fail. And you know, if you don't feel like, you know, send me the money, basically. I also see I over, I need to modify that. I was messing with the gas fees a little bit. Um, can just leave this by default that it's what it's supposed to default right now. You can see here it's when it's calling or, or contract um, code. Um, let me save that. Oh, oh brother. Booking macros. Um, suspend. PXR that run. All right, so you can see it's loading up our config and it's it's doing its thing. All right, now I'm gonna look just you guys so you guys can see here the last transaction I actually had that was successful that it sent me was a day ago. Um, it found so a die a die arbitrage on. Uh, hold on, I have to. Let me see. 
found a die x a die swap on d d5 fn that network uh and sushi swap right and um it borrowed some die from um uh the ofn sent it to sushi swap for some weave wrap ether right um borrowed some die sent it um for some uh some we traded it some weave got more um uh traded for some we uh Trade it. This is a polygons expert is a little bit fucked up, so I have to like interpret. Traded it for some some weave. You can see here it got this amount of weave. Okay, then it needed to pay back this amount, and it just sent me the profit, right? And you can see that that here in my wallet. Um, why do I not have weave in my wallet, bro? Come on, bro. You fucking up, bro. You fucking up. Hold on, guys. God damn. All right. Let's just import this real quick. Weave. All right, and you can see it there it already has like its point north balances um, of wheat that it sent me um, the other day. You know, hopefully crypto is blowing up like it is now and we get rich again. Um, but my crypto people know what's up. <laughs> but um yeah no so um that's kind of like what it did um i kind of just had it running there i don't know i don't think you will find one in the time that we're here maybe if i turn it all the way down um it will find one real quick um but the less you you tell it to look for then like obviously the less um space you'll get to cover your gas fees um let me see Yeah, all right so let's just let's see if we leave that for a couple seconds if it will find something if not that's we'll pick it up in like the next policies but that's kind of it guys right so um that's kind of what we'll be doing i don't i think i show this here this is our contract all right so right now our code from here or the trade.js it goes it calls our, our smart contract on the block on the on the blockchain all right and um this is our, our code here um it calls a uh, flash because or flash loan right or flash loan it checks to see if the peers exist all right if there is profit there and then um it does some crazy ninja stuff on our exchange or exchange calls us back here all right and then if we are in profit you can actually see this error here going going across sometimes um in this line here guys um keep your eye out um Sometimes you'll see execution reverted, sometimes not. Uh, did I pause it? Is it doing a trade? Did we break it? The oh, fuck? What do we do? Maybe it's making a trade. No, I think I just paused it. Did I? Let us see. Ah, it is making a trade, right? So you can see it's gonna be for a small amount. It's it's probably confirming on the chain, blockchain, whatever, right? That's if we don't get fucking front run. And I'm kidding. Nobody would front run or um or trade here. Um, it's probably not that profitable to do that. Um. Right, so I can see it's continuous so that I probably confirmed just now. Oh, I already did it revert. Yeah, so chances are what happened here. Let me see. Ah no, I was waiting for it. Alright, so let's see. Ah link. I haven't seen this one in a while. Right. Um so it found some links somewhere um on some exchange, right? Found some more link, swap um found some link that had an arb in it um you can see had to pay back this here you got this there and it just sent me the profit and if you look you can see this extra link here in my wallet if you remember it from um the last time okay why did we have link and we didn't have like fucking weave bro what is, what, what is up all right so you can see there the extra link in my wallet um 
but right now we're not super profitable right because we're paying more in transaction fees two cents and this is like it's like nothing right but i had to do that to kind of like show you guys um how it's trading right but we so we don't want to do that at all we um until we've like worked on some strategies so in the next video in the next series in the next video guys will be kind of dice going into some more complicated strategies seeing um maybe stopping over to another chain we're kind of just looking for like where the opportunities are right now um is fucking shit making another trade it fucking is why are you finding so many arabs bro when there is like no money to be come on bro come on we need to find these more opportunities all right um so we will be doing that um in our next uh video in the mini series guys if you do want to do something like this or any other web project reach out to me email down below me and my team will get it done for you and if you do like these kinds of video guys leave a like leave a comment down below because these mini series do get like placed on hold if there is not enough love for the video so if you want to see more of this stuff leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you in the next one